first of all, seeing, feeling, and hearing the music. Well, by this I mean that we use our visual or sight, oral or ears, and kinesthetic or fingers, those senses to understand the musical environment. It is here that we need to discover, understand and shape phrases, design phrases. What's a phrase? Observing the physical patterns created when playing the music requires chunking the left hand four, four finger patterns. You know, the half, whole, whole step, whole, half whole step, whole whole half step, whole 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 step, and occasionally half, one and a half step patterns. By chucking them, organizing them in this way, our memory comprehension is increased as we cease to learn them note to note, but put them into groups or from pattern to pattern. Now, we need to create strategies to memorize the movements we have observed. It is, it is here that repetitive practice is used as we both learn a phrase and memorize it at the same time. It is in doing this work that a vertical strategy is the most useful, where incremental learning tools need to be developed and implemented. Understanding that there is a clear link between inadequate practice and our performance anxiety. I guess the idea that memorizing is practicing and practicing is memorizing becomes self-evident. Finally, we need to perform and learn from the movements acquired to do this performance. As we perform in front of people on a regular basis, it is important to not let that one performance be the end goal. We must develop the understanding that there is, that it's about the journey, not the destination. And so all of this practicing should lead to the creation of belief. We should use this belief to know what we want, visualize what we want in as rich a way as possible. I guess the bottom line is that if we expect to achieve something and believe that eventually it will occur, then it will. As I used to tell my students a lot, practicing is about erasing doubt.